check it out. The two-story bunker is finally complete. This is crazy. This has to be one of the most insane forts we have ever built. I've got a visual on Phil Logan. He is moving in from the right side of the fort. I repeat, he's moving in from the right side of the fort. All right, Phil, you're going down. What is going on everyone? It's Papa Jake and we are back with a brand new video and today we are outside our indestructible bunker that we have created and Logan has a ladder. Logan, why do you have a ladder? Jake, there's only one way to go in this bunker and that way is up. I don't think that's how bunkers work. Also, that seems extremely dangerous. You can't just go. Wait, Logan, don't go up there without an umbrella. It's not safe up there without an umbrella. Okay, it's sturdy. I can confirm. Oh, I kind of want to come up here. Guys, if you didn't see our... This is not, if you didn't see our last video, we created an epic fort inside this steel shipping container to make the ultimate survival bunker. Not only did we make it survivable, but we made it livable. And you guys said we should do a 24 hour challenge in this fort and you guys liked the video a lot. So we thought we would expand the fort into a two story bunker fort. So what we decided to do guys is we were thinking that what we could do is make a box fort on top of the bunker that we could live in and do a 24 hour challenge. Now, if you guys are just tuning in and you maybe haven't seen the bunker, one, go check out that video because we're going to keep expanding this thing. We're going to make it bigger. We're going to add more bunkers to it. We're going to get like shipping containers there and shipping containers there. And we'll put a shipping container on my car. We can't just make our driveway a shipping container. We could make the house a shipping container. And then we're portable. You put us on a boat load and we can go anywhere. We can go to an island. Look, see how cold it is out here? You know where it's not cold? Hawaii. It never gets cold in Hawaii. All right, well, if we're going to build up here, we need to obviously first gather supplies. But before that, we should show you guys what we're dealing with with our bunker down below. All right, Mary Poppins, guys. So the great thing is if you need to get out of the bunker really quick, you just jump right off. It's like Fortnite. Shoot. I got... You can do it. <laughs> I think I'm going to break my ankle. You can do it, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I should do that, Logan. That's a big old draw. Here, let, let's test this first and see if the aerodynamics would work. Okay. <gasps> It works! And guys, if you want to keep building this thing, I mean, into the winter, keep adding on to it, smack that like button and leave comments down below with your suggestions on what we should add to make this the ultimate bunker. I eventually would love to bury this thing underground. That would be so cool. And of course, if you never want to miss a brand new video, hit the subscribe button and do not forget to join the hashtag squad by smacking that bell button so you never miss a brand new Papa Jake video. If I was a zombie, let's just say I did turn into zombie Jake. Ah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> the bunker hit me. The bunker won. Ow. Everything hurts. Okay. The bunker won. Okay. And welcome to the ultimate survival bunker. Ooh, this paradise. this is cozy. Oh yeah, guys, check it out. If you guys have seen the last video, you guys already know we have our couch that extends into a bed. And we have the massive flat screen TV, water. We got a shower basin, Logan, in case we need to shower. Jake built the shower, that's kind of gross. It's not gross. And we have snacks. I actually need a shower, Logan. I haven't showered yet today, so you know what? It's shower time, let's go! Oh, that's cold! Oh, we don't have hot water in here. Clean as a whistle. And you just turn the shower off like that. Boom, clean Jake, fresh. You could just shower in a normal shower. You don't have a shower when the zombies come. And if they're zombie birds, well then there's no showering ever because they're everywhere. And then we can use our radio to say, Hello, is anyone out there? We're in a really cool bunker and you're not, haha. -ha. Okay, well you have seen the inside of the bunker. Now we're gonna add a second story. Boom, and just like that, we have a nice open door concept. Whoa! Okay, okay, we didn't hit the car. We even have a landing pad, which I'm gonna be putting my drone on. Cool thing about that is that I can actually control and monitor the drone from inside the main base. Before we get into that, guys, we do have a sponsor for this video. Our friends over at Govi actually hooked us up with these amazing LED strips, which we're gonna be using to customize this entire part of the fort, which will make this place look super awesome. Before we start setting these up, Govi is actually having a Cyber Monday sale starting November 30th. You guys can get up to 30% off with prices as low as $6.99. We'll have a link in the description down below, and we'll talk a little bit more about the features of this. But before we do that, we gotta start putting these around our fort. I'm super excited. All right, 
right, guys. So check it out. We've got the Gobi light strip set up, and this place looks so cool. This now. place looks like a spaceship, dude. It is awesome. So not only are these sick for when we're gaming or watching movies inside here, but they also add a ton of light to our fort. You can use the Gobi Home app to customize all the different features with your lights. So for example, right now I've got it on the crossing feature, but if I change it to rainbow, look at that that looks really cool. There's even like an energetic effect where it just starts flashing. I can go ahead and select all the segments of the light and change it to red. Now we have completely red lights inside the fort. Now, one of the coolest things that I think makes these the best light strips that we've ever had, and that is the ability to change the different colors of the different segments. Normally, the light strips have to be either all red or all blue or, you know, whatever color you choose. Well, with the Gobi light strips, you can actually select what part you want. Let's say I want to have some green in here and boom, now we got some green and red. And with the Cyber Monday sale, you get 30% off. So guys, definitely go check out Gobi. Again, big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. I'm going to have a ton of fun with these. I think we can set up a ton of really cool scenes. I think this bunker things. just got way better. I think the bunker just, it's amazing. This is awesome. Okay guys, so I came down to the storage room to get some stuff for the fort, but then I started thinking to myself, Logan is all about making this thing really luxurious and awesome. And I think that's cool. You know, don't get me wrong. I want this to be a really super awesome fort, but he's not thinking about one of the main things. And that is if you have a bunker, you need to work on your defenses. So I thought we need to upgrade our defenses. But before I do that, I don't even know if Logan's prepared. Is he prepared to take on an invasion? I mean, yeah, if zombies come, he can take that on. But what about a masked guy with a Nerf blaster holding a pair of giant scissors? I don't think he's ready. So we better put him through the test. Okay, so I'm gonna do this exactly how someone trying to invade a bunker would do it. I'm gonna go in with the airsoft nade. Then I'll start opening up fire with the blaster. And finally, I'll come at him with the giant scissors. I'm gonna come around the back so he doesn't know where I'm coming from. It's one of the tests you gotta go through if you wanna be in a bunker. If you can't handle this test, guys, we might have to kick him out of the bunker. Go for the giant scissors. Let me in the bunker. No. Let me in the bunker. Let me in the bunker. Jake. We're opening the bunker. What are you doing? The test to break in. Jake, I'm here building the second story, and you're out here trying to attack me. No, I'm putting you through a test, Logan. That was a realistic scenario of a guy wielding a blaster with a nade and a pair of giant scissors. I think you failed. I don't know if you failed. Guys, let me know in the comments down below if Logan passed that test, but as of right now, you're on thin ice. You gotta be ready for anything, Logan. You don't know what's gonna go down in this bunker. Okay, guys, so check it out. We've got the second story on the bunker. Look how insane this thing looks. Hold up. Look at this from the front. This is crazy. This has to be one of the most insane forts we have ever built. You guys need to destroy that like button, but let's go up and see what it looks like. Obviously, it's empty. We haven't put anything up here yet, but I'm excited. Okay, so climb up the ladder here after coming out the door. You open up a secondary security door, and then you are free to come inside the fort. Whoa, this is cool. Okay, so now we're inside the first area, so we can actually look out, see everything. Got my car down there, what's up? Uh, we don't have a window on this side, so maybe we'll have to add that. Now the drone is actually gonna be on top of this fort here. To get it up there, I think I'm gonna have to like fly it up there, and then we come in to the second area here, where we have another front-facing view. The crazy thing is you don't get scared when you're up here, because you feel like you're in a box for and everything's safe, but I mean, this thing could easily slide off here so we got a nice view of the front and then we also have a security hatch on the side that just broke but we can open that and we can look out the side of the floor which is pretty sweet so now i'm going to deck this thing out with a bunch of security stuff i mean we got to get some nerf blasters up here we got to get some defense systems we also got to light the place and add some comfiness because you know that's always important and then i think we'll be ready to test this thing out against phil i mean he's not much of a challenge but it's the best thing we got 
Okay, guys, so check it out. The two-story bunker is finally complete. You guys need to see how cool this thing this is. This thing looks crazy. We Spaceship on the bottom, stuff. crazy box for it on the top. Yeah, okay, so just like check this out. Obviously, you're showing it off a lot, but I can't get over how cool this place is, especially now that we got our LEDs. We've got everything in here as the cozy sector. It's also warm because we've got this heater going. Couch, so TV. It's, it's basically like you're inside. Drone system. We do have the drone system set up. We also have our shower, which Logan, you have not showered today, so whatever you need uh, to. I showered before this. Yeah, I was inside. That's a fake shower. Inside showers are fake. You got to use the official bunker shower. Okay, I actually want to check out the top section. Okay, wait, wait. Before we show you guys the top section, which is like our most defensible section. Hey, what is this? Well, okay, I'm about to get to that, Logan. See, what we got here is a storage unit that can drop and reload ammo to someone up there if they are defending the fort. So, you turn it on, like so. Then, this, well, this would be down here. Oh! oh! So, you activate the button here. This drops down, and then I say, Logan, you fill it. You fill it up with ammo. And just like that, the automated system will bring the ammo back up top. So whoever's wow, fighting up top. That's moving, moving really fast. Well, it, it's, it's, it's a, a good thing this is going. It's a little slow, but it, it saves you from having to use the ladder. And if that's not enough, well, let's come on over here. You will notice we have a trip wire. A trip wire set up to our activated claymore. So we can fill this with our nerf darts or BBs. Activate it like this. And then if someone tried to come attack the fort, they'd run into the trip wire. And Bam. boom, they go down. All right, now let's pick up the top. I'm excited for this part. We come up and into the cozy upper level of the fort. You know, if we have any guests, they can stay right here. Oh, wait, look, look. What? Here, see some downstairs doing stuff. Okay, walkie talkie system. And in here we have the artillery, which, wow, we're, we're pretty geared up and ready to go. Yes, I hear you, Jake. I can hear you. Okie dokie, Jake, I got that. And uh, I will be on patrol with our Nerf Blasters. Okay guys, so check this out. So what we have now is the drone feed. Hey guys, how's it going? You can see me over there. So basically we have the control down here, but the big screen that I can use the drone to control and basically do surveillance while I'm safe inside the fort. And Logan's up top, so he has a view of everything. So in this case, I actually am gonna call Phil and tell him that he can have 50 donuts if he is able to use some Nerf Blasters and get inside our bunker. That is how confident I am in our security. Between our tripwire system, our drone system, and Logan up top, I think it's unbeatable. But before we do that, let's launch this drone and just see how cool the security system works. All right, guys, so check it out. Now we have a drone view above the fort. We can see the heli landing pad, which is where I'll bring the drone back when we need to come back. Let's see if we can find Logan. Logan, over. I've launched the drone. Oh, hey, and there's Logan. All right, well, we got Logan in the shot over here so we can see him, and we got a view of the fort. Let's uh, let's take this thing up and do some reconnaissance. All right, guys, so now that we've tested the drone's capability, we know it works. It's time to land this bad boy back on top of the roof, which is probably going to be one of the uh, harder things to do here. So I definitely don't want to mess this up. Let's uh, make sure we land it here. Also, if I crash it into the side of our bunker, well, we're going to lose a drone, but we could also hit Logan, so that's not good. All right, here we go, guys. We got the landing pad in view. It's time to land the drone back on top of the bunker. Do not try this at home. Papa Jake is an expert drone flyer. Otherwise, you may seriously crash your drone. And voila, there we go. The eagle has landed on top of the bunker and we are set up with drone surveillance. Guys, I know I've said it before, but this is one of the coolest forts of all time. You better smash that like button. The drone looks really cool and all, but from my vantage point, I can see uh, I can see Phil and he looks like he's gonna attack our base. All right, guys, looks like Phil is coming in for an attack. So we're gonna take the drone up again and see if we can get a good look at him. All right, time to take it off, guys. Let's see if we can find Phil. All right, the eagle has dispatched from the base. All right, where is he? Where is he? Oh, I think I got a visual on him. I've got a visual on Phil Logan. He is moving in from the right side of the fort. I repeat, he's moving in from the right side of the fort. Okay, Jake's on drone lookout. Now that I know Phil's coming, I'm gonna stand on lookout. Logan, he's coming in. He is about to go down. All right, he's hiding. Just missed. Logan, he's coming around the left side. All right, Phil, you're going down. Ah, oh, out of ammo. He's out of the claymore. He's out of the claymore. He's breaching the wall, Logan. He's breaching the wall. I'm pulling the eagle back. You're gonna have to do something. 
something is going around. He's right behind me. Oh no. Away, Phil. I think we successfully <laughs> we successfully defended the base. High five, man. Hey, dude, the drone actually helped a ton. Thank you, Mr. Drone. Okay, that, I think that was enough battle for today. I think it's now safe to go and uh, close the bunker doors and chill out inside our beautiful bunker. It's a little bit chilly out, but that's why we got these sleeping bags. We also got internal heat in the bunker, so this thing should heat up pretty quick, and we can lock the door and be perfectly safe in here and play some video games. Ooh, this is my favorite part of the night. Sit back, relax. We have Minecraft going. We are chilling, and I think it is now time to order some pizza. Yeah, well, we're not in the apocalypse, so we don't need to eat apocalypse food. So what we can do is use Uber Eats and grab ourselves some pizza. So Logan, why don't you order some pizza? I'm gonna check out Minecraft Jurassic World, because apparently we're playing that tonight. Jake, what are you doing? I'm flying a helicopter in Minecraft. That, that and is... I just fell. Oh, I jumped out. Look at, yo, there's Jake, dinosaurs down there. I have the pizza. I'm actually normally so stoked for that, but dude, they're, oh no! Uh-oh, look, 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 <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad idea, bro. I've never seen a dinosaur in Minecraft. Bad idea. Here <laughs> comes the pizza. Oh yeah, we got our pizza. And it smells delicious. Now we're just gonna eat, play some Minecraft, and relax. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Mmm. Nothing better than chilling, playing Minecraft, watching TV. And we're super safe inside our fort. We know for a fact Phil can't get in here. I mean, that doesn't say much, but still, it's super safe. But uh, yeah, guys, I think we're gonna uh, we're gonna chill out now, play some Minecraft. It's already getting late, so we'll be heading to bed pretty soon. But so far, I'm loving this. Like I've said multiple times, this has gotta be one of my favorite forts we've ever built, and we really hope it's your guys' favorite as well. That's why we want all of you to comment down below what you think we should do next. Should we expand this, make it longer? Should we go higher? Should we add more defenses like what do you guys want to see us do next with this and of course do not forget to smack that like button so we know you guys love this video as much as we do i think i'm gonna go to sleep all right logan's going to sleep well guys this has been papa jake and logan and we'll see you guys next time for another awesome video